Give it up for yourselves. Your palindrome fight. I would first off like to bring up the brains behind this. He's a local Portland comedian, and he's the first world champion palindrome creator. Please give it up for Mark Saltfight. Nothing is ever completely original. This is based on the World Palindrome Championship that Will Shorts of the New York Times Crossword Puzzle set up. We are gonna take audience suggestions, three audience suggestions, and we'll have an hour to write palindromes fitting them. First, from Los Angeles, California, Mike Kaplan. Mike you've seen on Conan, Letterman, and he's got a great special on Netflix right now. But what you may not know about him is he also has a master's degree in linguistics, so he's probably going to kick our butts. And what you may not know about me is I live in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Your next comedian, and I'm not even going to hazard a guess as to where he lives, uh, is Zach Sherwin, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, I do, I do live in Los Angeles, and Mike and I are friends, and Mark, too, so yeah. I'm your L.A. pal. That's okay. a, a uh, palindrome. <laughs> Dax Jordan, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm, I was born in Los Angeles, I was raised in Portland, and I moved back to Los Angeles. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait, a palindromic yes. life course. <laughs> Do you guys fucking love palindromes as much as this show would suggest? <laughs> Wait, is it possible that they hate palindromes and they thought they were coming here to fight palindromes? That's right. <laughs> right. To slap palindromes, you are gonna... so to speak. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so let's just hear from everybody. Uh, what, what do you want to hear palindromes about? Football. Football. Okay. Football. That's what. Bar mitzvahs. Bar mitzvahs. Football. Bar oh, that's a that's tough letters right there. Uh, okay, a challenge. Back to the future. Back to the future, the movie. Yeah. Okay, great. Back to the future. Bar mitzvahs and football. Let's do this. As far as like how I write palindromes now, I don't do it in any formal way. When I find them, I'm delighted by them. And my brain like obsessively and exhaustively like plays with letters when I see text around when I'm driving or on a street sign or if I'm looking at an ingredient list or something like that. So it's not like I sit down to write and the rest of the time I'm free from it. It's like a word prison that I'm trapped in all the time. It seems like in comedy you can write anything. You like, what do I want to talk about? Literally anything, but when you're given a specific constraint, like it has to be a palindrome and it has to be on this topic, this topic, or this topic, they're like, okay, football, field goals, passing, quarterback, team names, like just making lists of things and then looking at which one of these things have letters that could mean something backwards. Are you ready? Where our contestants will line up and fight palindromes. <laughs> yes, they've been sparring backstage, lots of blood. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Kaplan. Okay, here we go. I'll do it fast. In answering the question, what's the prayer over the wine called, you stuttering fool? Kiddish, you d dick. <laughs> this is Marty McFly in the car with his mother who's about to make out with him, and it's a summary of that scene. No snog on son, mom. No snog on son. <laughs> this is about football. Arena for a football ab. Too far? Eh, of an era. Presumably you're in a Jewish neighborhood, so uh, they just might stand out on the sidewalk and go, uh, Oi, Semite times, yo! <laughs> With conviction here, please get up for Mike Kaplan. <laughs> and Zach Sherwin. <laughs> All right, clear winner. Give it up for Zach Sherwin, our palindrome champion. I wasn't surprised that we were able to mobilize a crowd like this because it's like a weird curiosity novelty to see a bunch of people competing with palindromes. It's a bummer. Like, I really like these palindromes. I wish I could perform them at some future show, but I don't really think that I can. It's a very specific set of circumstances.